kicks out. Hamilton. UCLA in white. The Bruins down two, trying to tie it up here. Up the middle, Holland. Underneath. Darrell Allen. Tied at 26. That's the fifth time this game has been tied as you look there at Gary Cunningham. Well, that excited the sellout crowd here, predominantly, I think, in favor of UCLA. Brown put up the shot. There's a foul on Ellis underneath. Ellis commits the foul. Daryl Allen's happened to be standing right at the right spot. He jumps well off of two feet. Some players jump better off of one. He goes up very well with two feet, and then he goes up the second time to put it in. The foul on Ellis is his first. The team fouls are even at six apiece. The score is tied at 26. Greenwood. David Greenwood puts UCLA back on top. Six points for Greenwood, 28-26. Just set that basket up, Jay, with some fine screening away from the ball to free Greenwood. A real fine play by Matson as he batted the ball back. It was taken by Allums, and he just stepped out of bounds on the near side. A fine athlete is right here in Southern California. Ollie Matson played football in high school. I believe he's a defensive end, but basketball was always his first love. Defense! 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 Bringing it back out. Here's Brown. Sellout crowd, 12,000 plus here at Pauley. I think this is a little bit of a surprise to see Pepperdine spread it out like this. I think basically they're just trying to slow down the tempo of the game some. But they're two points behind. I don't quite understand it because they are a team that likes to play with quickness and they do like to run and shoot with the other team when they can. That's an out front. Gary Cunningham directing traffic. Manson driving down. Back out it comes to Fuller. And off to Brown. Putting it out on the perimeter. The waves. In a delay. Looking to try and get somebody open underneath. Five and a half minutes to play, first half. UCLA leading 28-26. Pepperdine's been shooting 48% from the field. There's a battle for it, and it goes out of bounds. It belongs to UCLA. Well off Matson. Well, they ran about a minute off of the clock there, at least. award is going to be tough with this talent out here today and the way the game has been going there's going to be a lot of high scores however Pepperdine maybe is trying to slow down the tempo at this point some last foul charged on Allums as we look at Gary Colson a very determined yet humorous man the dean of the WCAC coaches and you wonder with all the personal problems he's had what his feelings are. He told me yesterday he didn't, he really didn't feel his team had much of a chance, but that his kids didn't know that. <laughs> well, he really turned the season around after being 7 and 19 last year. They finished second place behind USF in the WCAC. You saw Vanderway come back in for UCLA. Here's Ellis on the one and one. The bonus going into effect. Six points now for Ellis. Ellis is two for four at the line, and UCLA's lead is three, 30 to 27. Ball lost in under there by James Wilkes, and the waves come back. 4.45 to play. Ricardo Brown out of St. Louis, Missouri, by way of secondary in Yavapai Junior College. Ricardo, two points. Brad Holland got hurt on the play. He accidentally got a, a, an accidental stray elbow 
from Ricardo Brown. Looks like in the uh, nose area of his face, but he's going to be okay. UCLA by one, 30 to 29. Penn has upset North Carolina 72-71 this afternoon. That shot by Holland. Rebound Greenwood. Foul. Greenwood, and that's three on Greenwood. Greenwood is in a bit of trouble. Indiana State 86 to 69 over Virginia Tech. Michigan State beat Lamar 95 to 64. Well, Greenwood's going to have to come out of the game now with that third personal foul. He has that problem on offensive rebounds, picking up fouls around the basket. He's just too anxious, and he collided right into Ollie Matson. Easy play to call. Darrell Allums is back in the lineup. We have 418 remaining to be played in the first half at Pauley Pavilion with Lynn Shackelford. This is Jay Randolph. Matson on the free throw line, 22 years old. Went to Daniel Murphy High here in town. Rebound, take it down by Darrell Allums. The Bruins up by one. Band away from 20. Switch! Well, Kiki Vandaway's just been playing outstanding basketball in the second half of the season. Actually, the second two-thirds of the season. He's not only strong inside, but he can shoot well from the outside. Had a slow start this afternoon. Fuller, air ball from 25. Down it comes, and... They mess up the fast break. Fuller comes back down to Brown. Brown puts it up and in. Oh, that's a big play right here for Pepperdine. Now they're only one point behind, and they could have been way behind because UCLA had an easy fast break. Yeah, that's really a four-point play right, right there. Band away from the corner. Rebound. Good job, Matson under there. Blocking out. Gives it to Brown. And now Pepperdine could go back in the lead with a basket. Two minutes or three minutes and 20 seconds to go. Brown with 10 points. Brown with a basketball, tapped over. Fuller takes the jumper. The left-hander misses, gets it back. Ellis in the lane, hits it. And the Waves are back on top. Beautiful pass by little Tony Fuller, passing up a shot or a move to get it off the, little, the big Ray Ellis there in the middle. Pepperdine playing the Bruins to the hilt here in the first half. Foul on Ricardo Brown. Scott will come back in for the Waves. I think this would have to be considered a big surprise so far, Jay, because UCLA was a heavy favorite coming into the game this afternoon. Roy Hamilton will be going to the free throw line as he was fouled on that last play. Ricardo Brown didn't have his feet planted at all. The 1979 NCAA Basketball Championship program, you know, is a memento you'll really treasure. Exclusive information on the Final Four, the records, plenty of photos, features, and much, much more in this collector's issue. Send the check or money order for $4 to NCAA program, Box 1979, Lexington, Kentucky. The zip code is 40594. That's NCAA program, Box 1979, Lexington, Kentucky. 40594. The preceding message was furnished by the NCAA. We get a good look now at Gary Colson, 45 years old, 10 years at Valdosta State, where he had a remarkable record down in Georgia. All right, this guy. Started as a 24-year-old head coach down there. I think there's probably less likelihood of Gary Colson coming back and coaching this year. If he wins this game this afternoon, there might be some talk about him coming back. Then Bob Boyd, who we'll see in the second game, he definitely announced his resignation. And by the way, Gary Colson said that like USC, who we'll see in the second game, after he announced his resignation effective at the end of the season, his team started playing better basketball. Roy Hamilton, the senior from Los Angeles. Pepperdine up 33-32. Brown holding up the clinch fist. Two minutes and 45 to play in the first half. UCLA with six turnovers, Pepperdine with four. Game's been tied five times. A dandy first half. Gravy is back in now. He has the basketball, number 13. Gravy, Scott, Brown, Matson, and Fuller going for the waves. Matson goes from 20, and... 